Hello mga kananay! It's me again, Nanay Jane, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss newly posted videos about online teaching, side hustle, and motherhood. And just to remind you, we still have, a, we still have our giveaway. I'm giving away 100 Gcash load to the first commenter in every video and another 100 Gcash load to our most liked comment. So make sure to always stay tuned for our newly uploaded videos. Are you a public school teacher who's getting ready for the implementation of limited face-to-face -face class? If yes, this video is made especially for you. In today's vlog, I'll be sharing with you this QR code attendance system which we have started to use in our school during the implementation of limited face-to-face -face class. So this system will not only help us track the arrival and departure time of every learner, but it also serves as a convenient way to get the information of our students whenever necessary. Now, the first thing that we must know is how to generate a unique code for every learner enrolled in our school. We can actually generate codes in two different ways. And you may choose whichever is more convenient for you. So you may create a code using your laptop or desktop, or you can also generate it through a mobile application. Now let me show you first how we can generate a code using your computer. So open your browser and type QR code generator. There are many free websites that you can use, but I recommend using this QR code generator. So in here, you may enter the URL of your Google Forms, like for example, the health declaration form or contact tracing form. So you just need to copy the link of the Google Form or any website and paste it in here. And then you may already print this QR code that you have generated and post it at the entrance gate of your school. Now, for the attendance management system, you may click free text, then type all the necessary information of the learner, such as um, name, like for example, let's use Reyes Maria S, grade and section, LRN, of the student which is very important eight okay you may also include the parents name let's say Marites Reyes and the contact number one two three four five six seven okay there you have it so once you're done with this click this download icon okay so this is the qr code already of reyes maria s so if you are already satisfied with all the information here just click this download icon and then save this qr code preferably with the file name of your student maria reyes there and then just click download and then you may already put this QR code in the ID of your student now the second way to generate QR codes is using your mobile phone to do this just download a QR code generator app on your phone and install but if you want it to be more personalized you may download this QR code with logo app Now, to generate a QR code, open the mobile application app. So, this one, QR code with logo. Let's open this. And then, click logo. 
You may also customize the size of the logo at the center of the QR code. So you may choose big icon, middle icon, or small icon. So for me, I prefer middle icon. So let's just click it and then choose logo. Here, you may choose from the photos in your gallery. You may want to use the logo of your school, the logo of your student, or your section, I mean, or even the picture of your student. So for me, I'll try to use the logo of our school, San Jose Elementary School. Just click the picture, click sure. And then in this part, you may either paste the URL of your Google form. If you'll be using this code for a survey such as the health declaration form or the contact tracing form or you may just enter the information of the learner if you'll be using it for your class attendance so just like what we did earlier just type in the name of the student section LRN so for example LRN and then the name of the guardian, you could also put it, and contact number. Once you're done with the information, just click sure, and then this is already the QR code of Maria Reyes. So you can save this QR code and you can put it in the ID of your student. Now that you have generated QR codes for your students, the next question is how to track the attendance using these QR codes. Well, you need to download these mobile applications and install it in your phone. So just download QR Attendance Control and Barcode Scanner app. Take note mga kananay, these two apps work even without internet okay so that's one of the good things thing about these apps you can use it offline now to track the attendance just open the qr attendance control then whenever the student enters the school gate or classroom click arrival then scan qr code in their id so let's say this is the QR code. There you go. So this is Reyes Maria S. Kinder Masaya. Okay, arrival time and date is March 19, 2022. It's 12.38 a.m. already, yes. And I'm still doing this vlog for you, mga kananay. So that's it. So upon scanning, you will see the information of the student including the date and time of arrival. And the same goes when it's going home time. Whenever the student is fetched by the parent or guardian, just open the app again, click departure, and then scan the QR code in the ID of your student. And there you have it still the same information Reyes Maria S the section LRN guardian's name and then contact number departure time is 12.38.41 a.m. so when you're done using the app for the day like for example um, your class is over so you want to see the file you may export the file and convert it to excel by clicking this tool icon on the lower left corner and then click export save the file okay so let's say i prefer using or saving this with the file name of uh, the date today 2022 so just click export and you may see this in the storage of your phone so it will look like this so as you can see this is the list of my students who attended the class today and using this file i can track the arrival time and departure time of my students including the number of hours that they spent in school
And that's it for now mga kananay. Thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you have any questions about this QR code attendance system, leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer them as soon as I can. Have a good day mga kananay and I'll see you in our next vlog. God bless you!